Jesus, you're going to make our cheer tonight, Dave. Eh? It's up to you. Jesus Christ, like, talk about upstage me. Like, okay, now, yeah. what's your name? Paula, where the fuck are you? You're just... Right, but why'd you get to... I, anyway, look, it's all about you, Paula, right? Let's just make it a little bit about me for just a second, right? Put it this way, right? I've been doing this a while. I started my first ever stand-up gig. I was 25 years old. Right? I started in a small, smelly, grotty little basement. <laughs> Look how far I've come. That was yesterday. <laughs> this is what Edinburgh does to you. I fucking wrecked. <laughs> Honest to God, I'm in fucking bits, you know. I've, I only got here two days ago, and uh, honest to God, like, I'm an economic refugee. I can't afford to live in Dublin anymore. It's just too expensive, you know. But like, you know, when I'm chatting up women, I say to them, I live in a beautiful penthouse apartment in the center of Dublin city. And they go, exactly, they, they're not impressed at all. They, they just, they don't care, you know. But I mean, you know, it's unfortunate though because it's actually not really a penthouse apartment in the middle of the city. It's a fucking attic, you know. <laughs> Let's face it, I spend my life in fucking attics and fucking basements, you know. And I'm probably going to be buried or found in one or the other, you know. <laughs> so yeah, so, I mean, put it this way, the last time I had a woman up there, <laughs> it was so long ago, um, she was... You know, she just stayed in all the time, you know, she was constantly there, there was no getting away from her, you know. And, uh, I mean, like, she just, you know, she spent all day, every day, just journaling, you know, fucking constantly writing in her diary, she never left the fucking house at all, you know. So eventually we had to break up, you know, her name was Anne. <laughs> you have to be frank about these things, you know. <laughs> she went off for a fucking German. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Somebody had to tell them about her. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's weird because the neighbours, like, you know, they worry about me now because by, I live by myself in a fucking attic, you know. I am Dorian Gray, you know. Like, there's no amazing picture in that. This is it, right? This is what your, my worst nightmare is about. And, like, I mean, oh, God. I mean, like, they hear me laughing on laptops, you know, and just chatting to friends on Zoom and stuff like this. And when it closes, there's silence for a half an hour. Then the sobbing starts. <laughs> and they go, oh, bless. What a poor, miserable comedian he really is, you know. And then one time, like, I decided I'd try and lose some of my glorious weight. So I decided to do a bit of yoga, you know. So I did a... I got a video from YouTube, it was this amazing woman in kind of yoga pants, and they went all through the course, right? And she was bending down and going, downward facing dog. So I started doing this in the only place there's a bit of carpet in the bedroom, and I was like, oh Jesus fucking Christ, fucking hell. Fuck. And I started laughing because of the moan and the groaning I was doing, and I was convinced the neighbors thought I was having sex. <laughs> So I've had to keep fucking yoga going just to keep my fucking reputation, you know? And then I said, Jesus, they've never seen a woman enter or leave the fucking house, you know? So now I'm convinced, like, there's a, they, they must be, they must be convinced there's a woman tied to a fucking radiator in my bedroom that regularly services me. Which is true, but like, I mean, there's no need to kind of like, you know, dwell on it too much, you know, it's just, you know, you've got you to gotta do things to just kind of get through the day, you know. But I'll, I'll leave you with this, I just wanted to say that, like, you know, I, would you believe I'm, I'm not a full-time comedian? <laughs> anyone who says they're a full-time, they're not a fucking full-time, it's impossible to be a full-time comedian in Ireland, but like, what I did, what I do was like, I work as a tour guide, so most comedians start as a tour guide and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like basically that's what I do. I mean, weirdly, I meet Germans at the airport, and you know, oh, the video I did, welcome to. I mean, it's a cruel twist of fate that I'm the one pulling them out of the buses. I mean, that's the little joy I get out of every time I get out of bed going and put more Germans on buses. <laughs> a cruel twist of historical fate, you know. And, uh, yeah, I mean, like, so, you know, it basically, the problem with it being a tour guide is that, like, I've discovered very quickly, uh, it's, 
it's not a good job to make some fucking race. Um, <laughs> uh, guys, you've been absolutely wonderful. Thanks a million. Cheers, guys. Thank you. That's it for our Absolutely brilliant. Do you have a good time? Yeah. yeah. This is brilliant. By the way, this is fine.